Wow, it seems like we've been at this for so long, doesn't it? <laughs> this is my previous class. I said, we're going to lift up out of the hip socket, just like we've been doing since last summer. <laughs> so here we are, it's winter. <laughs> oh, so let's find our seat. And, you know, I think we did this earlier this week. The same thing we did on Monday for our Bija Mantra chanting to find that center and, and it really landed with me. So if it lands with you, I invite you to find that seated position and then just begin to make those big circles and then slowly begin to make those circles smaller. And then when you get, so they're so small, you're not moving, exhale into that stillness and that's your center. So just do that on your own. We'll just arrive at our center, each of our own center, whenever that is. And if that doesn't feel right for you, then just find your center however you find it. you find that stillness, that innermost circle, exhale, drop in, let those elbows kind of dangle, you can roll the shoulders back. If you want to find a mudra with your hands, you can a nice grounding mudra is that thumb on the inside of the palm and the other fingers wrap around it. Knuckles down on the thigh or your yana mudra. Let's drop in the stillness. Feel the nurturance of the breath. Feel the steadiness in your seated position. Maybe find the stability in yourself. Maybe something from yesterday that you carried into today. Now let's drop into loving kindness. Our beautiful loving kindness practice that increases our self-compassion and our compassion to others. Increases empathy. This induces and provokes that stable, centered mind, body, spirit. We'll begin our practice just with the intention, perhaps saying it out loud, whenever you're ready, just stating, may I be filled with loving kindness. Now on the next exhale, maybe blinking the eyes open if they're not open already. Let's gaze towards the floor. Maybe bring our knees or our hands to the knees or in our mudra of choice. And just steadily gaze forward towards the floor. And just keeping the head still, move the eyes up, just looking up towards the ceiling. It might feel kind of weird. We're just gonna do a little bit of some eye exercises today. So lower. The gaze down, just keeping the head still, eyes go down, and the eyes go up. 
Eyes go down and eyes go up. Bring the eyes forward and close them. Look forward with the eyes. Blink the eyes open. And now look over to the right, over to the left, and just back and forth. Kind of like those cartoon eyes, you know, the cartoons where the eyes are just moving. Kind of going side to side. And then bring the eyes to the middle, close the eyes. Let the eyes rest. Maybe placing our hands on our Mani Buddha Chakra, that solar plexus below the ribs. That's where the fire element resides, and the fire element governs the eyes. So his eyes burn right through me. It's that fire element. Be breathing in the sensation of warmth. And then we'll exhale, release the hands, maybe blink the eyes open. Let's bring that chin to the chest and just roll the neck around the back. Maybe you just bring it into semicircles or maybe you make full circles. It's beginning with some smaller movements today. And breathing, whatever feels natural. In whatever way, this brings some fluidity to your space right now. Then when you get that chin to the chest, pause with the chin to the chest. Let's bring our arms out like a T and then just interlace the hands behind the head. We're not gonna press the hands on down and pull the head down, just rest the hands on the head, the elbows kind of drop lazily. Just let that weight of the hands just add a little bit of a, a push to the neck. We're, again, we're not pushing down, we're just resting the hands down. And maybe we notice a little round in the back if we bring the elbows kind of forward. And let's inhale, the head comes up and as we do that, the elbows rise. And then let's bring our elbows back, kind of pinching the shoulder blades together. And now let's just rock over to the right, reaching that elbow kind of towards the floor, keeping the left sits bone grounded. And now you can move the gaze kind of up towards the elbow, not moving the head. Or you can move it down to the knee or just straight forward. And then we'll exhale, bring that through the center. If you want to, when you get to the center, kind of wiggle out the arms and the neck, giving those shoulders a little break, you can. Otherwise, just drop right over to the other side with those hands interlaced over to the left. And as we go, we're not really squeezing too hard those shoulder blades together, but just enough that we're not collapsing the chest in. We're just opening up the elbows enough to avoid that collapse in the shoulders. Trying to open the chest up a little bit today. And now let's exhale, bring everything to center. Release those hands. We can bring them out to the sky. Wiggle the fingers. Maybe your shoulders are on fire. Speaking of fire, <laughs> they might be a little warm. And let's lower the arms down and be moving their wrists as we do. Rolling the shoulders. Yeah. And let's bring our legs out in front. It can be, it can be kind of wide, if it's wide as you want to try. Maybe you have them just not quite so wide. We're gonna come into our wide-legged forward fold. So once you get those feet wide, maybe just point and flex the toes just a little bit, noticing I know those kneecaps move, the thighs move, heels kind of brushing across the floor. And then when you're ready, and to wiggle those sits bones down, grounding them into the earth. Notice how those hips feel. And then just find a little flex in the foot. And maybe when you flex your feet, you turn those pinky edges out, but only if that feels okay in your hips. And then we'll bring our arms up to sky. And as we bring those arms up, I kind of like to do a little one shoulder at a time to kind of get those shoulders, the sockets right in that perfect spot. 
And now let's exhale to drop the shoulder blades. And then we'll inhale to lengthen the spine. And now hinging at the waist. Let's reach the arms up and forward. The heart goes with the arms. And you can either stay kind of active, reaching with the fingertips forward as you start to feel that stretch in the back of the legs. You can keep the arms up and have this more active or bring the arms to the floor. But let's keep our spine straight rather than tucking the chin. Let's just be here for a few breaths with our chin straight. Again, arms can be, or hands can be down or they can be up. It's just gonna, our core is gonna respond to breathing. And then now maybe we lower the chin down and keep the arms up or they can be down. And just dropping into our new center here. Breathe in. And then exhale, gently bring the torso back. So the shoulders are coming over the hips. Maybe the arms gently rise, kind of float. Yeah, floating up. And maybe they come all the way above the head, reaching for the sky. As we reach up, maybe the shoulders come into the ears for just a moment and then drop those shoulder blades down. Feel the sits bones grab. Maybe that pelvis tucks a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let's bring our arms out to the side, kind of floating through space, as if we're moving through honey, all the way down to our side. Yeah. Now let's bring our legs long in front and then bend that left foot. So the left sole, the foot's on the ground, the hands are still at our side. You can lean back and let's just bring that right ankle onto the top of that left thigh. So it's kind of like our figure four that we usually do on our back. So we're going to do it seated today. If you want to lie down, go ahead and make your way to your back and then find this shape. Otherwise, just keep your hands behind you. And then maybe you just kind of lean forward and feel a little stretch the back of the leg. Maybe you begin to creep that left foot towards the left glute and you feel the back of that right leg respond. So this is similar to when we're in figure four and we put our hands behind that left thigh and kind of pull the leg in. We're bringing that heel close to the glute, which is gonna bring that stretch to the right side of the leg. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Maybe close the eyes and allow yourself to recline back more if that feels good. Now, whether you're seated or whether you're lying down, Let's gently send, keep these legs kind of glued together. Send the left knee to the left side. The right foot goes to the left side, dropping the foot kind of off the mat. And if you're seated, maybe gently kind of looking over that right shoulder. And if you're on your back, then that foot is on the ground maybe. Kind of a gentle twist, kind of a gentle side opener. I'm gonna come to my back to you to be with you guys. Good glance over that shoulder and up. Now let's exhale, bring that kind of glob of legs back together, glued together, everything to the middle. Let's send that right leg to sky now, the left foot grounds, and now point and flex that right foot. Roll, yeah, you can roll the ankles, good. As you're reading my mind. Never feels good in that movement. Now bring the right leg down. Let's send the right knee out to the side and maybe that left leg goes long, so a reclined tree. Just a gentle hip opener here on the right side. Don't worry about flexing or pointing that left foot. Let it be lazy or if you want, you can flex it or you can point it. Just gonna open up that right hip a little bit. Exhale to drop in, finding that center here. Now breathe in. Exhale, bring that right foot to the floor, the knees to the sky. And now send the left leg up to the sky. Looks like we're all on our back. So just bring your foot to the sky, bend it, and then we'll find that figure four here. Get your Shoulder bent blades right where you want them on your mat. And then when you're ready, draw that right foot off the floor. You can bring your hands behind the leg or to the shin. Maybe you bring your nose towards your shin. 
kind of compressing yourself into a ball that you can remain on your back. Allowing myself to come into kind of, we put ourselves in these odd shapes to create some expansion. So sometimes even in life, right, we kind of feel compressed. But even though we are pressed on all sides, we're getting a little bit of expansion. So feeling that here. Now on our next out breath, you can stay here a few more breaths if you want, but if you'd like to bring that right foot to the ground and then drop that left foot over to the right. Now we come into that little bit of a twist and bring your arms out and legs over towards that left hand, or up at the sky or even towards the right. And then find some serenity in that center here. Now on an exhale, press the hands down, roll that right foot back onto the ground, everything that's back to center. Now let's bring that right leg up to the sky, lower that left foot down, let that knee fall out, and then straighten that right leg down, finding a reclined tree on our other side. Maybe the hip feels a little sticky and you need to kind of arrange that tree position coming in and out of a different shape to find that reclined tree. Relaxing those eyes. Sometimes I'll clench my glutes here in tree pose for some reason. So I'm just notice if you're doing that and let it go. Or if you're clenching a foot or a calf, try to just relax. Now exhale to bring that left foot to the ground and send that leg high. You can bring that right knee in. So the right foot's on the floor, the right knee is bent, and then bend, point, roll the ankle of that left foot. And then when you're ready, let's lower that left foot down. Send the left leg long, keep that right leg bent. Find your strap. And either with a loop, however your strap is, was kind of left from last time, if there's a loop in it, somehow just loop it around the ball, that right foot. Maybe you just have the side separate. So the strap's on the ball of the foot. Maybe bring the, flex the foot towards the face, that heel is up. Let's just drop that leg out to the side. Maybe it feels better for you to bend that left leg and the foot's on the floor, or you can just let the leg be long but drop that right leg out to the side. Just drop it. It's a little hammock. Sorry about that, Lois, got it? <laughs> yeah! We're just dropping the leg out to the side. And you can notice, guys, if you kind of press that heel through where it feels in the leg, and then notice if you press the ball of the foot into the strap. So you pull on the strap, and then press the heel through, or you can press a foot into the strap. Maybe it feels different, it might feel the same. Now let's exhale. The strap helps us draw that right leg back to the sky. And now we can gently release the foot from the strap, send that right leg long, and now let's send the left leg long. Maybe just notice if we feel a difference in the sides. We may, we may not. I'm not going to overanalyze because I know some of the minds in this room like to analyze a little bit. So we're going to let that go, but just notice how it feels. You got it, guys. When you're ready, bring that left foot back into the strap. 
can bend that right leg, let that left leg drift out to the side. See if this can be as effortless as possible. You know, let, let this time be an effortless moment in our day. Breathing in through the foot and the leg. Maybe pulling on the strap on the ball of the foot, pressing the heel through, and then pressing through that strap with the ball of the foot. Now let's exhale, draw that leg back to the middle. Release the strap. Maybe you roll the ankle around. Now let's bring your right leg up to meet the left. Now let them hang out our little legs up the wall, without the wall. Rolling ankles, pointing, flexing feet, maybe bending the knees down into the chest. Rocking on side to side or off an asana. We can curl up like a little ball in our apanasana. And now let's send those legs long, nice and long, extending through the toes, through the heels, through knees to ankles, palms to the sky. And exhale, may I be filled with loving kindness. And we'll exhale. And let's roll over to one side. We're gonna make our way to standing. Maybe you wanna rock and roll up. We haven't done that for a while. You wanna try that on your sides today, you can. If you're like, no, I don't wanna just roll over. That's how I'm gonna make my way up. However you want, find your way to standing. Maybe your strap just left to the side. We won't use it again, probably till maybe Monomax. Rising up to maybe a mountain pose. And at the front of the mat, in our mountain pose, let's inhale to reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold it forward, hinging, sweeping the arms down, and then sweeping the arms up and overhead. And then exhale, sweeping down. We'll do this for a few more times, getting some blood flow moving from the ground up here to meet the sun. Maybe two more times. <sighs> Meeting and standing. Feet ground, shoulders roll up, back and down. And now let's ground into that right foot. Step our left foot back. Coming into our high lunge, our crescent lunge. Let's inhale, reach the arms up. And now let's exhale, twist towards that left thigh. So the arms are reaching short edge to short edge, heart beaming in the same direction as that bent leg. Reach, reach, extending, inhale. Maybe exhale, send that right hand towards that left. Hamstring, the left arm reaches up. And then exhale, arms reach short edge to short edge again. Good, and then exhale, that hand, that left arm comes on the inside of that right leg, the right arm reaches up, just kind of moving through kind of a half circle in this crescent lunge and our twist. Mm -hmm. Let's exhale, bring the right hand towards the floor. So our foot is framed with those hands. And now let's just kind of rock forward and back. Kind of, look, kind of juicing up the hip. So the knee might come past the ankle. It's kind of straightening and bending that right leg from our kind of supportive lunge position. And then when you get that knee over the ankle again, pause, step the left foot forward, bend the knees, rise up to stand, reaching nice and tall and long, and then exhale, hands the heart. Ground that left foot, maybe wiggle that right leg around and then step the right leg back. Inhale to reach the arms out and up, press through the ball of that right foot. 
Now, when you're ready, guys, let's exhale out like a T. Lengthen the spine. And on your next exhale, whenever you're ready, twist so that heart shines towards the left, reaching finger or towards the shoulder with those fingertips. Breathe in and out. See if you can still press through the ball that right foot, so that right thigh, and the right leg's active. Now let's start with our half circle movement as we bring that left hand towards the right leg, the right arm to sky. As if someone were reaching from the sky to grab your hand and reach that right hand up, bringing those ribs up. Let's breathe in. Now our exhale brings us to point the fingers from short edge to short edge. So we're going to move back forward. Now our next exhale brings that right hand on the inside of that left leg. Left arm to sky. Nice job, guys. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Our next out breath brings that left hand down to frame the foot. Let's pause here. And then we're going to just kind of straighten and bend that left leg as we maybe extend that left knee far, far forward and back. And juicing up the joints here on that left leg. Now, next time that knee is bent, pause. Kind of lower that left knee down just enough to be able to sweep that left foot back. Lower the left knee down, lower the right knee down. And now from here, let's just sit back on the heels and then rise. Kind of that same kind of juicing up motion in the hips, but we're doing it here from our tabletop. Now, the next time we come forward to tabletop, maybe we send the hips over to the right and we kind of sweep them back in a circle. Now we kind of start to make a circle in our tabletop. If there were like a pencil dropped with this from this, our heart with a string, it's kind of making a little circle on our mat. So we make as big or as small circles as we want. And when you're ready, switch other way. We're going anti-clockwise. Now let's find our tabletop position, hands under shoulders, knees under the hips. Now let's send our right leg off to the side so the foot's on the ground, and then walk the hands forward. So this is our puppy pose with that right leg out. Sinking the heart down, opening up the inside of that right leg just a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Now breathe in. Now exhale, walking those hands towards the knees as we come into our gate pose setup. Inhale to extend the arms out like leans. The right foot pushes down. Send those hips forward, arms out. And now let's find kind of our half circle from this position. So bring that right hand down that right leg, left arm reaches the sky. Mm -hmm. So our left knees down, our right legs out. Let's breathe in. And now imagine someone has your fingers, your hands, and they're reaching, pulling your arm up to stretch that side body. And then exhale, bring the arms out, short edge to short edge, or side to side, however your position. And then we'll exhale, bring that left hand down, right arm down. Breathe in. Maybe you want to press that hand down to the ground and bring that right leg up to activate a little bit on that side hip if you're feeling that today. Otherwise, just keep the foot down and that hand on the block of the floor. Living true to yourself and what your body needs today. And when you're ready, if that foot is pulsing, lower it down. Let's bring ourselves back up. Arms out, nice. And then exhale, bring hands to the hips. The right knee comes in, here's our high kneel. Maybe we move the hips around in a circle again from this kneeling position. Maybe we pause and really send those hips forward almost like a little camel. Maybe we kneel forward, feeling how those hips feel in that low back. And now from wherever you're at, find that stillness, finding that center. And then inhale, reach the arms up. 
Exhale, let's bring our hands forward to our puppy pose and you get your hands out, send the left leg long. So our puppy with our left leg out to the side. Let's inhale and exhale. And exhale again. Now, when you're ready on an exhale, whenever your exhale to move comes to you, bring those hands towards the knee. Rise up on an inhale. You can reach the arms up overhead. Maybe a couple, take a couple side bends if that feels good, and then bring your arms out like a T. I'm gonna bring my block close and kind of travel a little bit on me. There, so arms out like a T. And let's start over on the hand to the earth side this time, bringing the right hand down towards the earth or to a block, reaching that left arm up, and then maybe you're mindful and you try to send the hips forward so the hips are maybe over the knee. And if you want, you can pulse that, woo, that left leg, lifting it towards the sky and back to the earth, or you can keep it grounded. One more breath. And on an exhale, bring yourself up to a T again. Really feeling that left foot ground. And then exhale, bring that left hand down, that long extended left leg. Right arm sky. Feel the expansion in the heart as the ribs reach for the sky. Maybe you bring the right arm over the head this time. It's kind of fun. One more breath. Exhale to bring the arms to sky. Both of them meet above the head, above the shoulders, and then bend that left knee. From here, keep those arms reaching, reaching, reaching forward. Let's find some balance as we shift the weight into that left knee just for a breath. Now let's exhale, bring ourselves that right foot forward coming into our Anjana Asana. Yeah, nice guys, breathe in. Exhale to fold and bring both hands on the inside of that foot. Let's bring that right foot out to the far side of the mat. And then come into your expression of lizard. So maybe that means you curl the toes and left foot up there. You lift that left knee, dropping the hip down, and you drop the right knee out. Maybe that left knee, knee is lowered and you drop down. And then of course we have an option. We can press that right hand into that right knee. So whatever your lizard looks like, dropping in. Now let's exhale, bring the hands to the floor. Bring that right knee up in, the heel toe that foot closer to that right hand. Now let's exhale, send those hips back. And then however it makes sense to you, bring that right knee to meet the left. Maybe it feels good to bring the knees wide and kind of come into a downward facing dog before we go to the other side to open the back of that right leg that we just kind of bent. Cuddle out the feet. And then when you're ready, let's lower that right knee down. Sweep the left foot forward. So here's our low lunge. And when you're ready, bring the left foot out to the side, the left side of the mat, hands down. You can curl the toes of that right foot under and lift that knee, and that's your lizard coming onto your blocks or your forearms or whatever. Or you can lower that down. And bring that left hand to the knee and twist towards that front knee. That one feels good. And then closing those eyes. One more breath in. And then 
breath out, and just begin to make your way out of the shape, you're pressing on it, bringing hands to the floor, you know, bringing that knee, that left knee in, you can bring the left foot closer to the middle of the mat, rock the hips back. Now let's bring our left knee to meet the right. We'll come into our high kneels, maybe reaching the arms up overhead. Yeah. And exhale, bring the hands to the hips, maybe flat, low back, or if we had our hands in our back pockets. I'm just going to send those hips forward. If you want to come into full camel, you can. Curling those toes under and reaching hands to the heels. Otherwise, we're just going to send those hips forward to kind of open up those hip flexors. You can kind of drop the shoulders back if you want. And then we'll exhale. Stack everything over those knees, shoulders, ears, hips. We'll come into our tabletop. And then from our tabletop, we'll log roll down onto our backs. When you get to your back, kind of rock side to side, and your legs up the wall. Maybe find a happy baby or a butterfly. And in your own time, bring yourself into your Shavasana. There's no rush to get there. And there's not even a rule that you have to go into Shavasana. Maybe you want to sit in a seated position and spend the rest of our time in a seated position before we do our meditation. Maybe Shavasana is where you want to go. Releasing breath, releasing effort. And dropping in. Yeah, in our Just bringing in some visual alternate nostril breath. Visualize inhaling on the left side. 
and exhaling out the right nostril. Inhale the right nostril and exhale out the left. And inhale in the left. Exhale out the right nostril. Inhaling right. And exhaling out the left. And continuing on your own, counting down from 11 to 0. Just alternating nostrils with your breath. If you lose count, just start again. Now letting go of your count, regardless of where you were in your count, just releasing any effort. Feeling your natural breath in your body. Now visualizing yourself lying on your mat. Just say to yourself, may I be filled with loving kindness. May I be gentle with myself. May I have trust. May I be well. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be gentle with myself. May I have trust. May I be well. Now bring into your mind, your heart space, the face of someone that you love. Or perhaps you be the witness and see yourself on the floor. Say to whomever, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be gentle with yourself. May you have trust. May 
May you be well. Now bringing to mind someone that perhaps you don't know at all, but yet affects your day by either plowing the street, delivering mail, delivering groceries, or answering a customer service call. And say to that soul, May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be gentle with yourself. May you have trust. May you be well. Now bringing to mind someone that maybe you disagree with or you find challenging in your life. Maybe it's that part of you that's a harsh inner critic. And say to that part or that soul, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be gentle with yourself. May you have trust. May you be well. Let's exhale, and inhale. Om Shanti 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 Om If you have the time today, you can rest in loving kindness for as long as you have time, knowing that there's nothing else you need to do. There's nothing to do, but just allow it to be.